how to use Proton Calendar for free. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to Proton Calendar. Once you're here, you'll be on the Proton Calendar webpage. Before we create an account with Proton Calendar, I just want to give you a brief summary on what exactly Proton Calendar is. Proton Calendar is a free calendar that lets you set your own schedules to help you organize your life. Proton Calendar is encrypted with Proton's end-to-end -end encryption, and of course, it's a calendar focused on privacy. So again, Proton Calendar is a free calendar with its own free plan. If you outgrow the free plan, you can upgrade to a paid plan. It respects your data and has Swiss privacy, as Proton is headquartered in Switzerland. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top now. To sign up to Proton Calendar, you have two options. You can simply click on Create a Free Account at the top right-hand corner, or you can click on Create a Free Account at the top of the web page. I'm going to click on Create a Free Account right here. Once done, you'll be taken to the following web page where you'll need to select a Proton plan. Now, of course, we're going to be going with Proton Free. What exactly do you get with Proton Free? Well, you get access to Proton Mail, the free version, one calendar with Proton Calendar, Proton Drive, and Proton VPN. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top and select the free Proton plan. To do this, simply click on Get Proton for free. To create your Proton account and continue with Proton Calendar, you'll need to pick a username, a password, and to repeat the password that you chose. Once you've done all of that, click on Create Account. Now, of course, guys, I already have a Proton account, so I'm not going to create a brand new one. I'm simply going to click on Sign In, and I'm now going to enter in my account details. I've entered in all my account details, and now I'm going to click on Sign In. You'll now be signed into your Proton account and taken to the Proton service called Proton calendar. As you can see, you're immediately greeted with a welcome page. Simply click on start using Proton Calendar. You're immediately greeted with your Proton Calendar schedule. As you can see guys, for the week, my calendar is blank. To add something to your Proton Calendar schedule, simply navigate to the top left hand corner and click on new event. You'll then be greeted with a small window where you'll need to add a title for your new event. So let's call this new event for me football practice. So I'm just going to type that in here. Once you've given your new event a title, you'll need to set your schedule. So today is the 24th of January. Let's select the event start date for January 25th. So I'm just going to click on this box here and then select January 25th. For the time, let's say football practice is going to start at 7 p.m. It's going to end the same date and the time. It's going to be a one hour session. So I'm going to select 8 p.m. Now, if your event takes up the whole day, you can simply click on this box here to check mark all day. Mine is just an hour, so I'm going to leave this box on check marked. And you have the option to select Select the event frequency, such as does the event happen every day, every week, every month, every year, or custom, or it doesn't repeat. For this event, I'm going to choose does not repeat as it's a one-time event for this week. You can add participants in here so you can enter their email addresses and they will receive a notification with the details that you have entered into this window here. So I'm going to leave this blank as I have nobody to invite as this is my own personal calendar. For the event location, you can enter it in here. So I'm just going to go with local football pitch. You can be more specific in here. But of course, this is just a video demonstration and you can choose to be notified by a notification or by a personal email. Currently, the notification is set as 15 minutes before. Let's change this to 30. So we'll receive a notification 30 minutes before this event. You can change the minutes before to at the time of event, hours before, days before or weeks before. I'm going to choose minutes before. And for the email notification, we're also going to change this to 30 and we're going to leave it as minutes before. Scroll down. My calendar is what this new event is going to be scheduled on. If you have multiple calendars, you'll need to make sure you're picking the right calendar. Multiple calendars is available for the paid version of Proton Calendar. If you're on the free plan, you have nothing to change here. And lastly, you can add a description for this new event. So I'm just going to type in here, don't forget football boots, which is just a small reminder for myself. Once you've filled in all the information that's required in this window, simply click on save. And as you can see, guys, if we now look on our calendar, it has been updated with the new event that we have just added, which is football practice for Wednesday between 7 and 8 p.m. We can click on it to get more details about this event. Of course, we can delete this event if we want, we can edit it, or we can copy to duplicate this event. At the top left of your calendar, you can check what's going on on your schedule for a particular date. And at the top right, you can change the time range. Currently, it's set to week, but you can change it to day. So of course, I've got nothing going on today for the week or for the entire month. So as you can see, for the entire month, I have one event and that's football practice on the 25th. And on that note, that pretty much concludes the video on how to use Proton Calendar for free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so